Hi, this is Shane and welcome back to another episode of Autonaton. And um, I've done a lot between episodes. I didn't mean to, but I did, if that makes sense. So um, first off, last week we got Creative Flight, which was absolutely awesome. Um, when I left you guys, I was going, I was sorting out the the water mills out here. We did make, I think we we ended up with like seven or ten water mills because we got seven as a as a reward, and I think we made three or four. However, when I put down the extra water mills, it would tell me how much power I was generating, and then if I'd put down more than these four, I would be operating at a loss. It would tell me um, there's an efficiency loss, and the more I put down, the more efficiency loss I would get. So the ideal is four water mills, each producing 16 um, GP, grid power. And you, um, so you get 64 grid power. Anything more than that, it was giving me a power loss. So um, just to make it pretty, I just put the resonator in the middle. And I did mean to like uh, make this bit pretty, but I didn't get around to it for whatever reason. So yeah, so that was the, that was, I did that afterwards. Uh, what else did I do? Um, I decided to put in an elevator on the top of the building. So like if I'm flying around, instead of coming down and going to the door, I can just land on the building and then go down. Did I show you the, you guys this bit? I can't remember. But I did an enchant an area up here next to my kitchen and dining room and of course the bedroom in the corner and here's downstairs um let me show you the quest that I completed because I like I said I didn't go in to do the quest I went into um why is rustic oh okay this I remember dinging some time back and I couldn't work out where it was it was for here anyway sorry um, what were you looking at? Advanced storage time. I went in to do something and then because we have now have everything in one place to make all these things, it was very simple because I was just like, oh, let me just do this. And then it would, I made, I'd made everything because I was getting everything ready and then it just, I kind of made everything. So I thought I might as well just make them then and then walk you through what I've done because um, I've also had to look at auto crafting and how it works and what to do. I've made some notes. Hopefully I can understand the chicken scratch that I've put down and um, we will go through this together. So um, yes, so we did. And also I went to the end. I did do that. Now that I had the angel ring, it still took me a long time to kill the dragon because I got I ended up dying like twice, which is why I have open uh, these my emergency boxes. And these little chests, I made those by no that's the pattern grid. I will do that in a second. If I bring up chest, if you take a normal chest put that there I'm not sure which oh it's extra utilities too but one chest can be split into nine mini chests and each mini chest only holds one thing so after dying and then realizing um, actually I don't have anything to get my stuff back I went ahead and made another angel ring a pickaxe and a put in a pair of slime boots so if I die these are my emergency items I can put them back on and I can go and get stuff right so that's my emergency box uh, anything else I went into the nether did some exploring because now I can fly everywhere can you can you feel the sense of achievement because I've made my angel ring <laughs> I mean it's really cool <laughs> but yes now that I can fly everywhere it makes life so much easier right sorry right auto crafting that's what you're here for because you want to know about auto crafting 
right um let's empty my um inventory i also did some mining cobblestone oh yes i didn't i put stuff oh that was the other thing i set up this system where um ingots would smelt they go into the ender chest and then there's another ender chest let's see if i could look in through the window yes there's another ender chest and um an importer attached to it and it will pull everything into the system so then i don't worry i don't have to worry about you know um putting down pipes and so on and trying to get it to hook up and so on the ender chest works fine so i did have stuff to smelt but i didn't want to that's iron i don't want to put it in because i didn't want any mix any mixing any alloying so that should smelt down and then that will start producing yeah i didn't want any alloys because that is the most annoying thing when you put in a whole set of stuff and then it alloys and then you're like oh but i didn't actually want to make aluminium brass i wanted to make you know i needed my copper and aluminium so there you go right finally um auto crafting so in the quests uh advanced storage right the first thing i made putting it together what's that oh that's your storage disk so what's this one? Oh, upgrades all right let's do the upgrades and then we'll go up here into pattern crafting and um wireless stuff because that i haven't done yet all right so uh we made a 1k storage disk and you've got storage you've got storage parts storage housing and a loot chest and then the next thing was to make some upgrades so you can upgrade you can upgrade your rs items to add speed and other helpful things there are many different types of upgrades including fortune and interdimensional options completing this quest should get you started on how to craft and use these items rs options that can be used in the equipment speed upgrade range upgrade crafting upgrade stack upgrade silk touch upgrade and fortune upgrade and you got three upgrades oh can you oh and you can choose oh okay you got range you got speed you got crafting okay i already made the upgrades i think they're in no upgrades all right let's put let's put the ores away for now because i can always put those to smelt later um actually let's just put everything calamari cobblestone um yes i tried making a black elevator to go up onto the roof i think i told you that and discovered you can't mix your elevator colors so it has to be white all the way through i couldn't make i couldn't make one black one to blend into the roof and have two white at the bottom which makes sense um anything else name tag unbreakable wand and coal i'm not sure why i have a one pro breed me because the pack wasn't updated but i ended up with one in my in my inventory when i logged in today not sure why all right that's everything all right let's take all of this stuff out because we're gonna need it okay so i made i made upgrades so what are the ones you we have to pick range speed or crafting okay range upgrade that's ender pearls and quartz enriched iron refined storage refined right range speed is got sugar and crafting okay it's all it'll be nice if we knew what they did 
I guess the crafting upgrade would be the most advantageous one. No, wrong thing. Right, so choice. Crafting, because speed, yeah, we can always make speed. I don't know about the range. Okay, and what would the... And you get three upgrades, so we can make stuff. Crafting on demand. Okay, so that's getting upgrades. Um, okay, where do you put... I'm guessing you put the upgrades here? Nope. Do you put them... No, I don't think you put them there. They can go there, but I don't know if it does anything. Oh no. That didn't do anything because I just went and clicked it three times. There's still three of them. So yeah, that doesn't do anything. Does that go here? Nope. Alright, so you have your upgrades, but we don't know where they go. In the crafter, maybe? Nope. This manipulator? No, so we have no idea where the upgrades go. I would have thought there. On the side. Size, search. No. And definitely not on the controller. So, yeah, okay. We have upgrades, but we don't know where they go. <laughs> Which is, okay, that's fine. They're not important. Putting it together. That's a storage disk. What was the first thing? Okay, you had the disk drives. It would make sense that the upgrades go on the disk drive. Uh, type, mode, use damage, use MBT, access type. No. All right, I'll have to do a little bit of a search and have a look. Right, so we have that. Then the next thing was disk manipulation. Actually, I should look at what the, what the, um, what you needed. I mean, it's all, once you've started making stuff, it's all very simple. And once you have your, your fine storage, you just, you just pull it in. So the recipes are quite simple. I don't think they've been changed. Disk manipulation. Time to manipulate your storage and item transfer items or fluids between disks. The disk manipulator is a block that adds a fast way of transferring items between storage disks or fluid storage disks and the storage network. Whitelist or blacklist. The disk manipulator can be configured to have a certain whitelist or blacklist of items that can be transferred. You can also choose whether to insert items to the storage network or extract items from the storage network. So we get, no, we have to choose, okay. So do we want a 4K storage disk or a 156K fluid storage disk? I think the 1K storage disk. I don't use fluids all that much in my system. So I would go for the physical storage. So the disk manipulator is here. Okay, so I think what you can do. All right, this, all right, this has stuff stored on it. You can take stuff from here and put it into here. And it would bring it across. I believe. Yeah, it's going across slowly. Okay, it says there's nothing in it, but I think it's going across slowly. So I'll let that go and then I'll transfer it back later. But that's basically what you do. So for example, if I had a 1K disc in here and it got full and I thought, well, okay, I've now I've made a 64K disc, but I want to transfer my stuff across you can do that right no that's not what i wanted to do stop throwing things shane oh dear right next thing um okay 
so we made the crafting the crafting grid access the grid right we did that we made the crafting grid because that's how we access the system here and then the next thing was the pat was pattern graft crafting so you can make patterns for um items that you make all the time so for example the um the destruction cores and the construction cores and um the the 1k discs and so on you can make patterns for those so then it will auto you can say well okay make a stack of 1k um storage discs and it can do that as long as you have everything in your system you can also make patterns to make things with machines so you can put a i think you put you put the crafter next to it next to the machine and you you um you add it to the network so it would know that for example if you wanted to make a stack of aluminium brass in an alloy smelter it will do that for you so you don't have to do anything because it will take the um the aluminium and the copper from your system put it in the alloy smelter smelt it and then take it back out and put it back in your system yeah so it's all very powerful let's have a look what this says the pattern grid is the same as a regular grid but allows for the creation of patterns by default the pattern grid creates regular crafting patterns to create processing patterns which is what i've just said where you use a machine then you toggle processing checkbox to create all dictionary sensitive patterns toggle the all dict checkbox all dictionary is where you have um, certain items that are the same but appear in different mods so for example um, you might have a mod that has um, iron iron ore but it's not minecraft iron ore it's iron ore for I don't know um I don't know refined storage for example right so they might have their own their own type of iron ore if you turn off or dictionary will then it will then accept any iron ore for whatever whatever things you're crafting however there are some mods where you have to use their items in order to craft their things so um you might have a recipe that calls for copper and you might have thermal expansion and maybe three other mods that add copper ore into the game but you can only use the thermal expansion copper ore in that recipe so then you turn on ore dictionary to say well okay i only want to use thermal expansion copper ore in this recipe i cannot use any other um copper ore from any other mod in this recipe so that's what the ore dictionary does you can reinsert a pattern in the output slot to modify and possibly override it the pattern grid integrates with jei just enough items and is it is it still is it still jei or is it now nei i can't remember because it has changed over the last couple of years so that the pattern can use recipe transferring you don't necessarily need the actual items in your storage network to just to create a pattern for it which is excellent because obviously if you're trying to create a pattern for something you may or may not have it can be a bit kind of like well yeah i need to go and get you know quartz or something and you don't have it so that is the pattern grid and the patterns we will make some patterns in a second all right so item reward is four patterns and one upgrade so we claim that and what was the next thing before i go into back we did that and the crafter and the crafter is a place for patterns it's a block that creates items with patterns it can take speed upgrades to increase the crafting speed oh oh no that's speed upgrades with sorry with processing patterns the crafter has to face the correct input side of the machine so in my earlier example where i talked about the alloy smelter 
it's the crafter that goes next to it and that's what will make your patterns your your items from the pattern sorry finish this quest to obtain the craft manager that allows you to see all of your patterns in one G GUI or GUI okay so you get one crafter three patterns and one crafter manager all right let's get that and uh, no. crafter crafter manager all right so we can put I'm guessing we can put the crafter manager on top of the crafter so they all look from a distance they all look the same but they're all slightly different so you've got the crafting grid that you access all your things from you have got the pattern grid which I will go into in a second but this is where you will make your patterns so if you take something from here and you right click it doesn't actually take it out of your hand it just takes the image so you can make the pattern and you encode your patterns that's the word I was looking for and this is the crafter manager so you would put do you put your no you can search size stretch search board mox uh, auto JEI synchronized so you can look for things here as well and that okay no I don't want stretch right that's better okay and then that's your crafter which will make your things where you where you keep the patterns for it to make stuff <sighs> yes right and then we go on to wireless all right we will leave wireless for a second and let's make some patterns so do we have all of our patterns we've got upgrades like I said I don't know right clicking or left clicking doesn't do anything we have patterns I made patterns so the first pattern we can make is to make a pattern so if I put at refined and space pattern there's the pattern you add it and it shows you so that's the recipe it shows you this is what it makes and you put your empty patterns up in the top here click on create and now it's created a pattern that makes patterns if you hover over it it will tell it will tell you what it makes so that recipe makes one pattern All right if we put it into the crafter then and then we can look at our crafting grid display normal no craftables only craftables right so it will show you if you do that anything that you need to craft that you have anything that you have patterns for that you have stored in your crafter will show up here right if you have uh, normal and you put pattern it will show everything that you have whether you actually have it or whether you have the um, the craftable for it so then it will say yes we need to craft it so if I click that yeah so if I click craft pattern if I click the craftable I should say it gives me options so I can make one I can make I could go up in tens I can go up for a stack or I can minus so let's say I want to make 10 10 patterns I tell it to start so it tells me to craft 10 patterns it needs 30 quartz enriched iron 30 pieces of glass and 30 pieces of redstone all of them are available so it can start so oh right only craftables so if I go oh it's made them now but if I did if I wasn't so quick to click out we could have seen the count going up and you would have seen them being made okay so that's your your pattern so if we wanted to make let me see core is it not JE I think uh, no that's not what I want JEI synchronized 
core. So if I want to make construction cores, that's the pattern. Let's put you there and destruction cores. That's the pattern for that. Uh, basic processor is the other one. Okay. All right, so then for that, that would be a processing. All right, so that would be processing. Basic processors. So then to create that, so pattern inputs one basic one raw basic processor outputs one basic processor and then i would have to put it next to the furnace in order for it to make that okay i don't know if i want to do that yet because i'm not 100 percent with it and i'd have to think about how i want to oh if you shift click it shows you what the pattern is but yeah, I don't know if I want to do that just just yet. But that's the option. And if you shift, right click, it clears the pattern. Okay. Did that take everything over? That's still taking everything over. It takes its time, but it's doing it. Okay. Right, so that's patterns in a nutshell. It says the crafter can take speed upgrades. Disk drive crafter. But may, oh, you know what? Let's make a speed upgrade. That could be another pattern. All right, so we don't want processing. We want a speed. Upgrade. There you go. And put that in the crafter. Nope. That's a blank pattern. That's why it wouldn't go. And when you put it in, it changes. Oh, that's awesome. So then at least you can see what it is. Okay, so we want to make Let's make one speed upgrade. I know it's a bit of a... Oh, and it stays. That's cool. All right, craft, one, sp one speed upgrade. Oh, it's missing an upgrade. Oh, so it actually tells you what you're missing. Right. Well, then what we should do is tell it how to create, how to create an upgrade. would help if I could spell but you know I can't spell uh, range upgrade normal upgrades that's what we want all right crafter upgrade so if we go back to crafter manager no pat crap crafting grid we want to make speed upgrade start there you go so now it tells you that to craft a speed upgrade it needs to craft the normal upgrade so it tells you what it needs to craft that and it makes it and then it shows you that in order to craft the speed upgrade it needs these right let's go it did it. It made the speed upgrade. So it made the upgrade first and then the speed upgrade. I hope this is making sense to you. I feel like I'm rambling in my head. <laughs> it sounds like I'm rambling, but we've got it. All right, is that still... Right, this is where the speed upgrade would be helpful. So if we go in here, normal. So there's our speed upgrade. Can we put that in here? Yes, we can. It's not that much faster. All right, let's 
make five speed upgrades then. All right, let's make Oh, I could have just done remove one. Start. It's missing sugar. Um, let's go to here. And of course, if I stored all the food in here, I could have told it how to make sugar. All right, we have 10. All right, um, no, this one. All right, let's just keep it on craftables for the second speed upgrade. So we want to make five. Are we still missing five? Okay. Do I have, I thought I had sugar cane out. Oh no, did, did I take it down? Ah, all right, let's just make a couple. Let's make two. All right, craft two. There you go. It's definitely going faster now. Okay, right. That's the craftables. Ah, oh, that was a bit of a faff. Next thing is wireless, going wireless. Cutting the wires and upgrading to a wireless crafting or remote system. This will get you started. Wireless transmitters are used to send signals to wireless network items in refined storage. Keep in mind that you have to place the wireless transmi transmitter on RS cable. The default range is 16 blocks, but can be upgraded with RS range upgrades. So try to space out your transmitters accordingly to maximize coverage. And I made eight wireless transmitters and you get eight more. Okay. And transceiver. All right, so the wireless transmitter. There they are. Must be placed on cable. I have one piece of cable behind here. So you put it. There? No, I might have to get some more cable then. Uh, right. Cable. I'll have to make some more at some point. Right, there's the cable. There's the transmitter. Couldn't I have not put that? I could have put it there. Silly thing. All right, so we get back the cable. So you've got the transmitter. That's where it goes. Network transmitters send a next work. Do you need all of this in order to have in order to have wireless capabilities? I'm guessing you do if I'm thinking about real re, real life um wireless stuff. Wireless grid and beyond requires and charging station. Where's charging station? Um I don't know where the charging station is. Okay. All right, so I don't know if we need the network card and stuff in order for wireless to work, but we do need a charging. Well, we need a charging station in order to charge your wireless transmitter, but they didn't tell us where, where, where charging, which section. Is that immersive engineering? Let me see uh, immersive engineering because I think they have 
Do they have a charger? I'm not charging station. There you go. And we have our charger. Okay, so let's put that on top of our... Uh, I did take it out, right? There it is. I couldn't see it against the background. Right, let's put it on top of here. And now that's taking RF. And then I'm guessing we put whatever needs charging in here. Alright, why are you... I didn't want you... No, I don't think anything's going to go into that anyway. Okay. So we've got that. Uh, claim a loot chest. But not that interested. So now we can do the wireless grid. Ready to access the grid wirelessly and accept, access your items from anywhere. Crafting the wireless grid will get you started. Once you craft this item to activate the wireless grid, right click the wireless grid on a controller. Okay. To use the wireless grid, the item needs forge energy. You will have to charge it in a block that charges items from another mod, which we've just made. Make sure you have your wireless transmitters on the network to get a basic range of 16 blocks, and it should light up blue when ready. Completing this quest will get will get you a wireless grid that will allow you to craft on the fly and do some more and some more ender to, that will help you take more into the mod. Oh, ender pearls. Remember, there are other useful wireless options available in the RS mod to help you along in your adventure, so be able so be sure to check them out. Okay, so wireless grid. So we need an ender pearl, advanced processor, we need a grid. Okay. So that, do we have all these things? Yes, we do. See, that's what happened to me yesterday. It was kind of like, okay, let me just check. Oh, we have everything. And then, yeah, it kind of went out of control a little bit. Okay, so we have that. And we get another crafting grid. It says you have to hit it on the controller, which would be this. So right click. Shift right click. Oh. Um. You have to charge. No. Once you craft the item to activate it, right click the wireless grid on a controller. That's the controller. I've right clicked. Okay, there's one wireless transmitter. So if I put it in there to charge, how do I know when it's ready? Well, I'm seeing the green stuff. I guess that means it's charging. Uh, okay, I guess when it's finished, it will let us know. So we'll leave that charging. Transceiver. Network transmitters send a network signal to a next work network receiver that is specified in the given network card. The network card is an item that stores the coordinates of a network receiver. Insert the network... Insert... The network cards into a network transmitter. Network receivers will receive the signal from the network transmitter and work cross dimensions now. In order for the network receiver to work reliably, the network trans the network receiver and the transmitter should be chunk loaded. See extra utilities chunk loader or FTB's claim chunks map menu icon in game to set up to load up chunks. I get it. Okay. So, for example, if we had a base across in the village where we first started way back many episodes ago. So we've got the two bases. We want to link our networks. So you would have the network cards and the network receiver and so on. And it would link up the two networks with the magic that you get in real life with networks to get them to link up. But yeah, that's what that is about. Good. Because it was kind of like, I'm not sure what this is, but yes, that's what it is. It's so you can link up networks across the world. 
or even if you have a very large base and you wanted to do that so for example um i might have a mob farm uh you know i might have a mob farm out in the back somewhere and i have everything going into a refined storage setup then i'd be able to link the two networks and then i don't have to worry about running cables all the way to my main storage in order to access the things from the mob farm so that's that's the kind of practical application that's more practical than having you know two bases or whatever if i've got a mob farm someplace i could use it like that and i think let's see so you got that interfaced what's this the interface is a block that adds as a combination of the importer and exporter for importing the importer needs to be connected to an in, uh, inventory to import items or fluids okay so basically if you want to put things in and out so for example I might have I might come in from mining or whatever and I've got a drop chest right here you'd put the interface next to it and it will sort out everything and put it where it's supposed to be basically it's stuff that I will probably never use on here but it's just showing you what the possibilities are because don't forget this mod pack is to show you how how to get started in modded and how to use different mods so some of the stuff you may never use because usually if I use um, refined storage I would just use it for the storage I've never really used the pattern grid the patterns and crafters and the disk manipulator and that kind of thing oh it's done now sorry so that so where did it put it okay I don't know where it put all the stuff that was on there did I just lose a whole set of stuff I thought it put it in the other thing but I may have just lost a whole set of stuff I don't know I really don't know <laughs> okay yeah I may have just lost stuff I don't know where it put it oh well never mind it's only a game it's only a game so yeah so I am not sure what you would do with this then because I put it in I don't know where it put it I thought it would have put it in this one but there's nothing in it all right well I will have to have a look then and give you guys an update next week and the last two things that I did there's the interface in our uh, interfacing fluids and also fluid storage I like I said I I have never stored fluids in my um, refined storage setup I usually you know if I need a bucket of water I will get a bucket of water or I will just store buckets of water but you can have a fluid interface uh, a disk drive with um, fluids drives in it and that's where you keep all your fluid so if you needed if you were doing things that needed like buckets of lava buckets of water buckets of whatever liquid you can store them in there and pull it from there but I very rarely use it but of course you can go in oh you get loads of stuff in here claim you get six cups of coffee okay so it stores your fluid your fluids and craft the 64k storage part to get started and um okay when you break the 64k storage block the fluids it holds persist so you won't lose any of your fluids it doesn't despawn when it's dropped in the world and you get all these different things which is very nice is that all yes a cup of coffee I don't know why they gave you six cups of coffee but you get cups of coffee but um advanced fluid storage and you can make more f more storage but I will probably go ahead and make that in my own time and not well I didn't do any of this on camera but I wouldn't you know I would do it to complete and not necessarily because I'm going to use it so 
that is basically it. I thought it would have been easier to make the stuff and then explain, but then I think it might have been easier to do my normal thing. So I'm not going to do that again. <laughs> but um, we've almost finished with extra utilities too. Is this thing finished charging? Is it charged? Uh, no. All right, I guess I'm gonna have to leave it for a while. Yeah, I'm gonna have to leave it and see. But um, but yes, we've pretty much finished with um, oh, not what I wanted to do quests. Pretty much finished with advanced storage, with um refined storage. It's just the fluid stuff that we need to um. I need to do which is this one and like I said I'll go ahead and do it let's claim that and biodiesel molten steel molten electron I'll probably get 16 buckets of molten electron because then oh now it's all over the place because I can always put those in the smeltery I believe and do stuff with them. Uh, 4k storage this. So yeah. Alright let's leave that for now. Do we have everything? Because I really don't want that to despawn because Electrum is a gold and silver blend which is why I went for it. Like I said I will go ahead and do that off, off, off camera finish off extra utilities and then what should we do did we ever finish tinkering away we didn't oh 16 cobalt and 16 have i cobalt i've only got two because i think i've been smelting up my cobalt all right i'm gonna have to get i'll have to do that uh right but actually we'll do Britannia because I oh but that's way way in Britannia I've never really done I've done like the very basics I've got the flowers I've got the wand of the forest and a mana spreader and a mana and mana storage and that's pretty much it so we could do could do Britannia could do astral sorcery which I've never really done either I've got I think I've gotten as far as luminous crafting and then I got bored rustic I've never done rustic that looks short and interesting roots I've never done that either oh we did what no we modded minecraft Oh, I don't know if I want to do roots. That's with the the moonlight circles and stuff. And yeah, that was the annoying thing. I don't know if I really want to go into that yet. I'm not. I'm a bit too scarred with that. We need to finish the immersive engineering, but I don't know if I want to take on another tech mod yet. Or we can go to oh we can do extra utilities too because that's lots of fun little stuff and useful stuff like the crusher um wireless rf transfer the generators mechanical users angel block oh i'd wanted to do that today the angel block's really cool so yeah let's do extra utilities too because i don't think i'm ready for any of those those heavy mods quite yet but we will we'll get there because the magic mods i'm not a huge fan of I'm more interested in learning tech stuff and not really magic stuff but this is pushing me to learn magic stuff so today's episode has been a bit longer but we did have a lot to go through and um but yeah we we've got there if you have any questions and stuff please let me know in the comments if I haven't been clear or you want me to clarify stuff I'm you know we can go through stuff again but um yes so that was today's episode wireless crafting refined storage which is very simple and very useful 
and you may have noticed I did transfer pipes and stuff into the furnace so if I have things that need to be smelted quickly I can just put them in and it will output into the chest I mean I also have the smeltery outside that all doubles so that would be my first portal call but if I had you know if I had to make like glass or something I would just stick it in here in the furnace and get it over and done with so um yeah i can feel my voice going <laughs> i've been talking non-stop for quite a while so thanks very much for watching please like comment and subscribe it really helps to grow my channel and i will see you guys in the next episode okay thanks for watching bye bye